What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, I'd said there would probably be a second part to the last video I did, which was, I believe, was uh, the Giga Pan was from Sol 3716. Well, here it is. We're going to get into some pretty neat stuff. Now, the last video, some of you folks have said, Chris, there's so much more that you didn't mention. Absolutely. I agree. Now, what we didn't do is go to the right side of this pan, because what I think we're looking at is a structure, and you can see what looks like a foundation on the side and on one end of it. Let's just jump right into it. All right, folks, you can see the pan right here again. It's from MSL 3716 or the Curiosity Rover, right? Now, we've looked at this here and we've studied all this area here in the front. We've also done in the back here as well, okay? Now, we did go over a little bit to the right. We looked at several things, right? But we didn't come all the way over here. Now, folks, check this out. Look at this area right here at the end, okay? Just this end right here is like a concrete platform. You might say, well, I don't know, Chris, I'm not quite seeing it. Let's back up a little bit. Okay, check this out. Look from here, you can see a straight line. See it? Pretty much running all along the length of this. Now let's back out. Notice how it goes all the way across. Goes all the way across to this point here, folks. Now, let's have a bigger look at it. Let me show you something I noticed, and this was pretty cool, just a little tidbit for you. Is this little rock right here, you can see right here. Let's zoom in. Folks, I'm going to put this right in the middle of the screen. This is awesome. Look at the anomaly sitting right here. Okay. Now, keep in mind, they're going to fool you with the color. So, you can't make out any of the colors, and a lot of it, you can't see a whole lot of depth. Okay. Zoom in a little further. Folks, check out this line going straight across. And then it has a bend upward. And... If I'm not mistaken, this runs right through this other piece of metal, and I believe it is metal, out to this part. See how this right here? This little white piece goes from here to over here. Notice the other almost white objects sitting right there. See the pieces going off into each other? Look at this right here. One, two, three. It looks like three circles right here. I'm going to go around it with the cursor. Put a right smack dab in the middle of the page. One, two, three. Something is going up into this object, and look on the right, it drops down, and then goes down. You can't see the end of that. See it? So there's one piece up, and there's one kind of going through the other pieces here. But there's one, two, three. Folks, there's a design to this thing right here. Look carefully, and look at all the other stuff. It's almost like this right here is a box. See it? And there's, there's like almost rounded pieces and what look like framework or something right there. What that is, I have no clue. Other stuff here to the right. Folks, I mean, it's all over this gigapan. It's all over it. I don't believe for a moment that this thing is a mountain at all. At all. I believe this is absolutely some kind of structure. Again, I'm going to show you the platform. Look at the edge going all along the length of this thing. I think this is an actual structure. I think every one of these are a structure. And they're just making them look like they're actual mountains. And they're not. All right, so let's just jump right into Photoshop. I want to show you this. Just going to go over this real quick. We've already looked at this area. We found plenty of things. And like I said, a lot of you folks have seen things. And here you go, Chris, you didn't even see these. And you know what? Kudos to you folks for finding extra stuff. Because there is an abundance of it. There's no doubt. Now, what we didn't do is go all the way to this end here. Right here, folks. See where this is marked off? There's an edge to this right here. Okay? Now, folks, let's just back out. I'm getting the impression... That whatever this uh, structure was or whatever, something washed this down, this platform. And by the way, is this platform really a platform? We're going to get into that too. But again, I'm seeing what looks like stuff's been washed down off of this. So something's collapsed and just kind of like broke into pieces and ran down this hill or turned into a hill. Because if let's call this flat and all of a sudden the debris just come off this structure, well, it's going to make a pile, right? Okay, so now let's get into this half again we have this here. Now you can see the whole area a little bit better. All right, a couple of things I'm going to mention right off the bat. This area here that's on this platform is not flat. It has height to it. There's a bunch of stuff here, and because it's so congested together, it's going to be hard to see. However, pause the video anywhere, 
even if you're going to bounce back to another timestamp or whatever, you can do that. And then I'm going to show you a couple of little things like in the hillside here, which is pretty neat. Okay, you can see this line on this platform. There's actual height to this stuff, and you're going to see this in a minute. This over here, let's zoom in. There's an object sitting there. You got to look for the real faint lines, folks. Just have a good look at that. It almost looks like some kind of weird vehicle. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm purely speculating. However, when you see that, you're going to go, wow, that is kind of weird. That's, that's pretty cool at the same time. Folks, I don't have to do anything to this area alone. Look at the little objects, the pieces, the shapes. Really, really, really cool. Now, you can see straight areas over here to the left, just under here on the top line, straight pieces. We have this, what looks like some kind of weird piece of metal or some kind of weird object. What looks like some kind of gray cone coming off. And I'm gonna show you all of this right now. We're gonna really jump into this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple of steps and I'm gonna do full enhancement so you guys can have a better look. So again, pause this anyway and get your magnifiers ready. Now folks, if you look really carefully, look at this line, this very faint square shape right here. I'm gonna go back and forth. Okay, check that out. The other thing that makes me believe that this is a raised platform is the object right here, it looks like it's going under it, okay? And it actually really does look like some kind of platform. And you can see it surrounding this so-called butte, and clearly I don't believe that it is. I just showed you some stuff on the, uh, the right-hand side. To me, it's structural. Intelligent life's been on this planet, no doubt in my mind. All right, folks, let's break this photo down. Okay, again, I don't have to do much of this area. I'm just gonna show you this real quick. See that, folks? Pause it right here. Have a look at all the little shapes in this right here in the middle of the screen, horizontal line. Look at the straight lines, the crooked pieces that look like absolute metal or some kind of constructed item or part of a construction, right? All right, I'm gonna do the full enhancement. Then I got a bunch of uh, things that I point out. And you tell me whether you think this stuff is actually artificial or just natural. Okay, here we go. Okay, just this area alone in the green on this platform. Pause it right here. Look at it with your magnifier. It's distorted. There's a lot of things compacted together, but look at all the lines and the weird, what looks like circles and everything else inside this area. Up here on the hill. Check this out. You can see where they try to blur that. I'm going to show you that right now. See it right there? They went over it. Now let's back up to the original. Folks, you can still see that. I can see that with no problem. What they try to do is hide it. You can see where they went over it. I don't know if it's AI, whatever it may be, but check that out. Look at this piece lower to the left. Looks like some kind of unnatural part. All the framework here in the lower left corner. Look at this, like almost like a half circle or a quarter of a circle right there. And this object standing up. These objects here and this so-called wall. Is that natural? Let's bounce to the left. Have a good look. Folks, this gets crazy and crazy the more you look at this photo. Item here at the top arrow. Some kind of weird shaped disc here in the middle. You can see it right here. Almost a full circle with smaller circles inside it. This object here, I thought this was really interesting. It looks like some kind of weird craft or some kind of vehicle. I don't know. Let's just back up a little bit and you can see this. Now I'm going to go from this step back to the original. You've got to pay attention to this edge on the right. It's very, very lightly there. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And I mean lightly there, but it's there. You can see these actual holes or these designs, whatever they may be. I'll go back and forth a couple times. And then what I do is I really brighten it up. This piece, not sure what the heck that even is. Check that out. Go to the back to the original. It's right there. Get rid of the crappy color. Try to bring it out a little bit more. Okay. In fact, we can go back over to here and do a shopping. And you can see the fuzz around it. That's the manipulation. That's what's over. When you try to burn through this manipulation, that's what happens. Let's have a better look. And you can see a lot of this has been taken out. This is the reason why you have that fuzzy look when you try to break through it. And that's exactly what you end up with. Now, this area alone, 
which is really, really cool. Now, this arrow all the way on the right-hand side, look at this framework, and you can see where they try to take out half of it, because it's right here in the middle between these two arrows. You can see what looks like a brownish area where they tried to take that out right here. I think what they try to do is like just go over it, or it's AI, whatever it may be. It tried to take this right out. So you didn't see this continuous piece go all the way down from this right arrow all the way down to this left one. You didn't see that. They try to take it out so you don't see the whole item, and that's the whole point. I like this one right here in the middle of the screen. Remember I showed you this right here. It looks like some kind of piece of twisted metal or something, but look at the green arrow just below it. It looks like this weird gray cone or something coming off the bottom of that. Do you see that? Let me just back up just to here. Right there. Folks, have a look. The straight lines, the weird things coming out of this thing. Nowhere is this natural. And you can see a lot of this has got like that weird blurring over it. it of course, you're not supposed to see this. None of us are supposed to see this. Check this item here on the bottom. This is cool. I'm going to do the unsharpened so you can have a look. And we're going to sharpen it up. Folks, look at that. What? What is that? There's other items below this as well. You can see that just below this one, literally, there's some kind of round piece sticking out of like a little platform. There's one right next to it. Folks, there's so much in here, it's just absolutely absurd. All you have to do is just look. That's all you got to do. There's some other things way up here. I'm not sure what to make of this. Almost looks like the shape of a boat type thing. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm saying the shape of it, right? Almost looks like another 90 degree pipe right there. Comes up like this, goes around. Then we have what looks like, see that right there? You can see that right there. I'm gonna blur it up a little bit and sharpen it up. But it almost looks like some kind of weird pipe, like that 90 degree pipe we've seen back on the other side to the left of this gigapan, right? Folks, again, crazy, crazy stuff. Look at this, I just noticed this just now. Look underneath this large rock, suppose a large rock, and you get what looks like this piece here. You see that it has a weird, almost like an arch type thing. It's like a support. I'm not sure what to make of this, but clearly this is not a rock. This is some kind of weird piece right here. Check this out. It does this, goes up, comes back and does this. This is what I'm seeing going like this here and under. Folks, what the heck is that? Notice the back end of this thing. What is that? I've seen something like this before in a opportunity photo where it looked like this weird, and I think I called it a land speeder, it had like this weird craft that looks like it was just sitting on the ground, but this here is crap. This has been added. Notice the other piece here just sticking out of this item right here. This thing is some kind of machine or something like that, or something intelligently made. We don't have to call it a machine, but folks, look at the stuff up here. Just to the right, Just all the little pieces that you can just tell they're not rocks. We don't know what this stuff is. We're just purely speculating. And, you know, we're just guessing. But the point is we can tell the difference between a natural stuff and stuff that's not natural, right? And just notice this area right here. Check this out. You folks see that? What is that? It literally looks like an opening. I'm just going to back out a little bit right there. Check that out. Folks, just have a look inside this blurring areas. All that is blur, these items that are there, it's what's beneath the obfuscation. It's what's below this stuff is what we want to see, right? Almost practically gone if you don't bring out the lines. You can see that. See it? This bottom piece alone... I don't know what that is, but that's crazy right there. See it? And there you go. Again, you can always go back, check this stuff out. Really, really crazy stuff. Like I said, folks, nothing about this is natural. They are there for recon mission. They're looking over what's really on Mars, and that's ruins of a civilization that's been there, let's say, up to about 100 years ago. How do we know? 200 years ago, 1,000 years ago. What difference does it make at this point? 
I personally think, and this is just pure speculation, if a lot of these structures are in fact intact, then they can live inside these things. And if they are somewhat modern or are modern, can we adapt power supplies that we have onto these structures? I don't think in a million years that these are all destroyed. There's a lot of things that are in ruins, like they're twisted and just broken apart and thrashed around. We see that. But how much of it is really in ruins? How much is not? That's the key. Folks, I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you got to say. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. We've got some more crazy ones coming up. Folks, i got another Ganymede Moon video coming up. So stay tuned for that as well. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.